Hi guys, this is Wouter from uh, Wrist Icons and this is actually my first YouTube video. Um, I'm starting this uh, to do this with a video because uh, only I think in a video I can tell you the whole story of this uh, particular, uh, particular school watch. It uh, consists of a, a pocket watch and a wrist watch. Um, yeah, I'm really proud of it because it's a really interesting kind of kit. Um, yeah, we are offering a graduation masterpiece, uh, the set consisting of a pocket watch and a wristwatch chronograph. The pocket watch was uh, tested at the Neuchâtel Observatory and the chronograph that uh, underwent uh, chronometer testing at the BO, the Bureau Officiel in uh, Le Locle. Um, these watches come as a full set with all the documents possible. Um, it's actually the first time such a complete set has been available to the open market and it has uh, been preserved as a time capsule, as an untouched uh, timekeeping heirloom from a bygone era. So those are, uh, th these are actually words of my site, but I think um, it's a really good description also on the site and it uh, helps you um, yeah, to, to understand in full detail how, uh, how interesting this is. Um, actually the, the wristwatch, uh, we will start with that. The wristwatch actually is a, uh, <clears throat> is a very big school watch. It's a 37 millimeter school watch. Uh, and it has a, a really interesting, a rare pop-out waterproof clamshell uh, kind of case. Uh, in it houses, uh, 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 houses a Zanju 23 um, uh, caliber. Beautifully fi finished by the same uh, student. Um, the case is actually made by the case maker, uh, yeah, patented by the case maker Schmitz Frer & Co. Uh, the later Brevet. Uh, yeah, the brevet type 8189190, uh, 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 patented in uh, 1937. Um, yeah, if you see the Valju uh, movement, um, it's, yeah, it's actually unfortunately inside. On the website you can see all the pictures. It's, it's beautiful, done, beautiful done. It's really meticulously uh, finished with uh, yeah, the application of Cote de Genève, Perlage, Anglage, and, and black polishing. Um, but besides actually uh, all this kind of polishing and detailing, it's, uh, it works as a full uh, chronometer. So it's not only a chronograph, but also a chronometer. And this one was also tested uh, at the Bureau of Shell, so I can say that, but I also have the proof, and that makes it really interesting because uh, this whole set comes with all the paperwork. So th this is the paper from the uh, school. This is the report from the Bureau uh, Officiel with all the, uh, uh, the days. So uh, this chronometer was tested for 15 days. As you can see here. And all signed and dated. Uh, what you see over here is um, yeah, are all the measurements for this watch. And then we uh, yeah, think of the rate deviation uh, of the watch at a certain, at, at, um, yeah, measured at a certain kind of uh, uh, temperature, etc. And here you have the final report and also the watch case from the school with the small little uh, certificate, chronometer certificate. Uh, then we go actually to the uh, more interesting, even more interesting, and that's the pocket watch. Um, it's actually the first time that I've, uh, yeah, that I've bought a pocket watch and I decided so because yeah, it's the, 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 the whole kit is so interesting. Uh, the pocket watch is an, actually an extremely rare um, full-fledged observatory chronometer from the yeah, also the late 60s, which was tested as the, at the pre prestigious uh, Neuchâtel Observatory and scored uh, a remarkable high mark, an end score of 6.87. 
Uh, less than 40 pieces have been submitted to the observed theory of that particular, uh, of that particular variant of the caliber uh, 58. And like the chronograph, uh, the pocket watch uh, retains, uh, retains its uh, original box, original uh, uh, bulletin, uh, bulletin de marche, uh, its price certificate and uh, additional document of, uh, of the school. Uh, but it gets the real interesting, and I saved the best for last, is when you see the finishing on the, on the back side. Um, you see also here a lot of uh, Côte de Genève, Anglage. Perlage, and yeah, it's just stunning. Um, it has a Guillaume balance, and yeah, that was really the best of the best at that time. And what sets this apart, um, why it's so unique is because never, uh, yeah, such a kit has been available to the open market. And what I mean is, uh, such a, with such a kit, it's um, a wristwatch, a pocket watch, and all the paperwork. Okay, thank you for viewing, and uh, yeah, please follow me on uh, on uh, Instagram. That's wrist icons. Uh, you can see read the full article with all this information on my website. And it's also the watch and the pocket watch with all the documents are also available in my web shop. Uh, if you have any kind of questions, uh, just yeah, send me a DM. Many things. Right. Thanks for watching. All right. Bye bye.